In 1972, Dr. James Dennis, then Vice President of the University of Arkansas Medical Center, proposed the creation of an Arkansas Health Center linking the Med Center, the Veterans Administration Hospital, Arkansas Children's Hospital, the Arkansas Department of Health, St. Vincent's Infirmary, and the Baptist Medical Health Center with downtown and the Little Rock Airport via rapid transit or monorail. Forty years later, we are taking the first concrete steps in planning the rapid transit connection to realize that vision. The I-630 Fixed Guideway Study is a preliminary alignment study to locate station sites and a proposed route for the first light rail line to be built in the metropolitan area along the most heavily congested and densest employment corridor in the region. Starting at a terminal just west of I-430, the first eastbound stop is at Baptist Hospital Medical Center. The rendering of all stations in this video are similar in architectural style, but when constructed, are anticipated to be uniquely designed and themed for their particular setting. Our train proceeds eastward, ducking underground briefly at John Barrow Road, past a future station that could be constructed just north of Woodland Heights. Our riders enjoy onboard Wi-Fi as they glance at the morning rush hour congestion on I-630. They pass over Rodney Parham Road and then underground again before crossing over I-630 to arrive at the Midtown Station. The Midtown stop provides access to some of Little Rock's largest shopping complexes, Park Plaza and Park Avenue, and to St. Vincent's Hospital via pedestrian bridges over West Markham Street and University Avenue. Then a tricky piece of engineering takes us underground again along the north side of St. Vincent's campus and under part of the War Memorial Golf Course before popping out to cross over Fair Park Boulevard, arriving at the War Memorial Station for access to War Memorial Stadium, where anxious fans are arriving for an upcoming game. A short hop east brings us to the next station, conveniently located directly between UAMS and the VA hospitals to provide direct access to both facilities. Then it's on to the last medical complex along the line, the Arkansas Children's Hospital and the west side of the state capitol complex. Proceeding under the southeastern edge of the state capitol grounds, we arrive at the capitol station, conceived here as a depressed station in the center of Capitol Avenue. Now the train retraces the old streetcar tracks down Capitol Avenue to the Federal District and then to the Main Street Station to rendezvous with Little Rock's creative corridor along Main Street and the proposed extension of the River Rail Trolley. A quick dash eastward brings us to the River Cities Travel Center where one may transfer to a Central Arkansas Transit bus for more local transit options or for a short walk to the River Market District. These plans envision a shift over to 4th Street to pass under Interstate 30 before stopping at the Clinton Presidential Library, Heifer International Station, and another opportunity to access the River Rail Trolley. From there, we move down Bond Street, where another future station could be built as redevelopment in the area demands it. Finally, we complete our journey arriving at the new terminal at the Bill and Hillary Clinton National Airport in time to board our flight. As we mentioned at the beginning, this is a preliminary alignment study. Its sole purpose was to identify a preferred fixed guideway alignment that could inform both private and public institutions along the I-630 corridor for the protection of right-of-way for the deployment of light rail or bus rapid transit in the not-so-distant future. We very much would like to hear your opinions. Please contact us at metroplan.org with your comments.